that you join me today for Kids Blast. Are you ready to have some fun? I know I am. All right, you guys stand up. We are going to sing some songs and then we have an awesome lesson for you today, okay? All right, so everybody on your feet and remember the mini mansion song? We're going to start with that one. Ready? In my father's house are many mansions, many mansions in my father's house. In my father's house are many mansions, many mansions in my father's house. I go to prepare a place for you. I go, I go to prepare a place for you, for you. In my father's house are many mansions, many mansions in my father's house. In my father's house are many mansions, many mansions in my father's house. Great job. All right, ready? I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. You know what that means? It means that we can be happy no matter what is happening around us. It has to do with controlling what we're doing. So make sure that you are happy all the time because with Jesus in your heart, you have a reason to be happy all the time. All right, let's do that a little bit faster. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in and cleansed my heart from sin, I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. All right, let's do it a little bit faster. Ready? Here we go. I'm, I can hear you. I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. I'm in right, out, right, up, right, down, right, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in, cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. All right, now let's do supersonic fast. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? In right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right out, right up, happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in, cleansed my heart from sin. I'm in right out, right up, right down, happy all the time. Yay! Great job! All right, let's practice our memory verse again. You guys are doing so well with it that I think we're almost ready for a new one. You guys have done excellent with this one. All right, so what we're going to do today is um, I want you to either sit down or crouch down, okay? So when we come to a word that has numbers in it, I want you to jump as high as you can. Try and reach the ceiling. Don't jump off of anything though, okay? Keep your feet on the floor, all right? Here we go, because we don't want anybody to get hurt. All right, here we go, crouch down, ready? Exodus 20, 11. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Good job, all right. Now, let's try it again, but this time, when we do the numbers, then we're gonna clap. Okay, all right, here we go. Exodus 20, 11. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Good job. All right, now this time when we do it, we're gonna pat our head, okay? When we come to those numbers, all right? You ready for the numbers? Here we go. Exodus 20, 11. For in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Great job. All right, this is a fun experiment that you can actually do at home too. But I am going to show you how important it is the friends that we choose because often we become like our friends and this is a person, okay? So these are just, this is a paper towel and it goes into each one of these. This is just water and food coloring, okay? So what happens is when we choose our friends, 
we often become like the friends that we choose. And watch this, it's going up into the, um, you'll see them kind of marry here in just a minute. But it's so important that we choose right friendships because watch how close it is. And it doesn't take very long. Do you see how fast that was? It does not take very long for us to become a lot like the people that we hang around. So be careful of the friends that you choose because you're going to be influenced. You're gonna influence them and they're gonna influence you. And it's very important that you have that as a good choice instead of a bad choice. Because if you choose a bad friend, what's gonna happen? Do you end up becoming a lot like your friend? You do. See how the blue and the green are crossing over and the blue and the red and the red and the yellow are almost crossing over too. So you can have lots of friends. Just be careful which ones that you choose. Not all friendships are bad. Friendships are, can be a good thing as long as they are helping you encourage you to do what is right. But when they encourage you to do what is wrong, it is a wrong friendship. And what do you need to do? What do you have to do to break that? You're going to have to break that friendship off. And often what happens is they've rubbed off on you enough that you're still going to be a little bit like them. So be careful who you choose to be friends with. Hi, everybody. Are you ready to answer some questions? Are you ready to answer some questions, Larry? All right, here we go. Let's see how good they listened to our lesson last week. How good did you listen? Well, I listened really, really good. And guess what else I did? I tried that experiment at home. Did you guys try it at home? Did you get the markers out and grow a rainbow? <gasps> you did? Was it beautiful? It was. It was so pretty. I was so excited about it. All right. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I am. All right. How many days did it rain when they were on the ark? Um, do you remember? 40. That's right. Good job. Did you get it right? And what was the man, the name of the man who built the boat. What was his name? Uh, was it Jonah? No, it wasn't Jonah. <gasps> Did you say it? Noah. It was Noah. Yeah, that's right. I get Jonah and Noah mixed up. <gasps> that's okay. I'm sure other people do too. All right. So then let's see here. What, see if you guys remember this one. What was the wood. It was a special name of the special wood that the ark was made out of. Do you remember what the name of that was? Hmm. Let me see. Um, oh, it was kind of an animal. Um, um, gopher. That's right. Good job. It was gopher wood. Good job. All right. And then when God decided it was time for the rain to stop and everything to go back, what was it that he sent to the earth to help get rid of the water. Hmm. Well, it wasn't fire. Nope, it wasn't fire. Um, it wasn't more water. No, it wasn't more water. Um, did he blow on it? Was it the wind? That's right. He sent a wind to the earth. Good job. And then do you remember what was the name of the mountain that they stopped at. Hmm. Let's see here. What letter was that? Um, 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 um. Air, air, air. Do you remember? Oh, Ararat. Good job. Larry, you're doing such a great job with this today. I, I wasn't sure I was going to remember that one. Thanks for helping me. All right. Did you remember that one? The name of the mountain was Ararat. Then God sent out two birds, or not God, sorry. Noah sent out two birds the first time. What were the name of, what kind of birds were they? Um, one was, what color was it? Um, um, do you remember? 
Um, it was a blackbird, a raven, and um, was it a gray one or a white one? Uh, a dove! That's right, good job, you remembered. A raven and a dove, did you get it right? And then did, remember the bird came back, the dove came back? How many total times did Noah send the dove out of that window? Do you remember? Um, let's see, he waited a week in between each time. Let's see, um, three. Good job, it was, it was three times. And on the, on the second time that he sent him out and he came back, do you remember what the dove was holding in his mouth? Who remembers? Do you remember? It was a special kind of leaf. Um, um, uh, an olive leaf, an olive branch. Good job, good job. All right, then God sent them out of the ark and Noah made a sacrifice to God and God was pleased with that, wasn't he? Yes, he was. And then, oh, what, then what? He made a promise, that's right. You know what, that's our next question, is what did that promise look like that we can still see today? God said that he would set something in the clouds. Um, um, it was a special, a bow, a rainbow. That's right, good job. And every time you see a rainbow in the sky, what do we remember? What do you remember? We remember God's promise that he would never destroy the earth again with a flood. Great job, Larry. Thank you guys for being here today and for listening and answering the questions. You guys did awesome. I can't wait to see you again. See you soon. Bye.